Okay, so we're getting ready to do the power side of the electrical bay. And this is our, this little board is gonna fit inside of our electrical bay. So we've started um, bolting everything down and we've made some of the wires and bolted the things down that didn't interfere with our mount points. So we kinda wanted to show it before we put it in there because sometimes it's, it's hard to photograph a lot of times when it's in the actual bay. So this is the beginnings of it. in there all right so okay we've got our uh, our main stuff installed the main panel um, so it unfortunately kind of hides our battery but um, uh, seems like a, it'll be a pretty secure place to install all the all the components it's starting to look pretty good all right working on the electrical we've mounted our panel in here so it's nice and securely mounted and we've mounted all of the major components. So all of them have now been secured. They're all, all the wires have been cut to fit. They're all on there nice and tight. We have our most ground here and our most positive here. Those have not been hooked up yet. So we're gonna wait until most of this is done um, to hook that up. That way we don't have to worry that, about it being live or you know shocking ourselves or anything like that. So we're... Um, so we're working on it. Um, we're now going to run, um, this goes back to our charge controller, which we've already wired. Um, so we're going to, we're going to hook this up, um, and it's going to go to here. So, um, that this has a hundred amp breaker on it. Um, the charge controller is capable of putting out, uh, about 85 amps. So, um, we won't get anywhere near that, but we figured a hundred amp, you know, if we up, up, upgrade and if we, um, kind of expand the system then we'll have the capability in here to do that but um, anyway this will get wired into there and then the negative um, will get wired in down here at the negative post on the other side of the shunt um, so we're slowly but surely wiring stuff up okay so today we're wiring up the BMS so we've got all these wires coming out and we've heat shrank um, just to kind of keep them orderly and to keep them nice because there's 17 wires in there so we've wired them in and they go negative then cell one two three four five all the way to 14 and then the very very last one then gets um another one on cell 14 um, which is like the ultimate negative ultimate positive so the nice thing about these is um we can test these we can test these here right on the very top things so if we go so if we go to the negative, and then the first cell, we should see four volts, which we do. If we go to the second cell, we should see eight volts. So it should continue working up like that in uh, in 3.7 volt increments um, all the way up. So this case can be closer to about four volts, just because that's the state of charge of our battery. So it'll be about four volts, or I think it's been 3.96 for the last year that we've owned the battery. They've all stayed at that exact voltage. So um, we're gonna wire all these up, and then once you wire all these up, they get plugged into back here. So they go right in there. So the manual specifically says, do not wire them in one at a time. Hook them all to the harness first, and then plug the entire harness in at once. So that's, that's what we're gonna do, because that's what the manual says. So um, we're using ferrules again. Um, these are these tiny little ferrules. Um, and again, they just, um, they just ensure a better connection so that the hairs aren't spread out. Um, we use them here also on this one. Um, we're just gonna try to use them anytime that we uh, need to connect something into a screw terminal, we've heard it's a really good idea to use these ferrules. And so we've bought a whole bunch and we're gonna, they're cheap too, I think. 
Um, this set of ferrules, I'm going to say was, I think it was $12 for like a whole bunch, more than we'll ever use. Um, and then we bought some for the bigger ones for the 2 gauge and the 8 gauge cable that go to the solar. So um, this is what we're doing now. We're trying to label them here. Michelle's Michelle's written them just in case they, they come off or they pop off or anything. Um, we have a chance of knowing what goes where. Um, but hopefully that will never happen. <laughs> it's just kind of a fail safe. So anyway, this is the project for, for today and, and for right now. So this is what we're working on. All right, it's nighttime again and we're out here working when our kids are sleeping. Um, so we've gone ahead and wired up most of this stuff, including the inverter. So we've got our main power here from the inverter. And this was one of the reasons we went with 48 volt was they, these two wires can provide up to 10,000 watts of uh, AC power. Our inverter is rated at 5,000 watts and it'll do 10,000 watts for uh, some short period of time, but it's rated for 5,000 continuous. And this wire is uh, safe enough to supply that much power, which I think is about, it's about 200 amps or so. So we've fused him at 200 amps. Um, it, that should be plenty. So um, we've got most of the, the wiring done. What we don't have done is the two mains. So we've already made them up and fitted them and everything. Um, we just haven't hooked them up yet. Um, mostly because we're not ready uh, to program just quite yet. So um, we need to program the BMS to make sure the parameters and everything are correct in it. As well as the, um, the Victron, the... Um, the Quattro. So we're going to program both of those, but we'd like to get some some more wiring done on the AC side and bring shore power in before we start um, messing with any of that stuff. So this is what it looks like. Um, it came out pretty neat and tidy. These are temperature sensors, and these is this is a shunt. So um, these are the two kind of odd wires, and um, like I said, it came out pretty neat. Um, we'll have further videos kind of explaining what everything does and what the purpose of everything is. There's a lot of fuses and and, um, and breakers to just to make sure we don't overload something. And so it should uh, it should serve us well. Earlier we showed the wiring of, of this guy, which was arguably the most tedious part of the whole day, was um, wiring all of the 14. Um, and we checked after every single one, we checked to make sure that, you know, from the last one to this one, there's only four volts. And then from the last one, to this one is only four volts. And then back to the reference voltage, the, the all negative to this one, there was, you know, there was the, the voltage was correct. And so we checked on every single one. Um, so it should be, it should be good to go. Um, we've got a display screen for this one, as well as a, um, there's a little, piece that plugs in that we're able to program it with our computer. Um, same with the Victron, but we have a couple questions <laughs> that we have to ask because um, they have um, this thing called the VE bus, which is Victron's sort of proprietary bus, and um, the REC BMS is supposed to be compatible with that. So they sent me a cable and everything, but I have to make sure that um, that I can actually like um, there's a way that you can plug them in together and then you have to terminate them There's all this kind of weird stuff that I'm just figuring out So I've got a little bit more research to do on that But as far as wiring, I think we're pretty close just the mains so far and then we're waiting on <clears throat> The breaker for the solar input so the breaker on the solar input, um, the reason we could, it wasn't readily available, it's it's not 48 volts. Um, solar coming in is uh, just over 150 volts. So we had to get a special kind of breaker that handles higher, the, the higher uh, voltage. So we, it's like 250 volts or something. So what we read was, you can it can be a higher, it can be rated for a higher voltage, but it can't be rated for a lower voltage. So if something says, hey, it's a maximum of 12 volts, you can't go throwing 48 volts through it. So um, anyway, that's what we had read. So we ordered this special breaker and I I guess it's shipping from China. I don't know, but it's not gonna be here for another couple, maybe another week or another two weeks, but we're kind of anxious waiting on it and this little wire here is waiting on it. So, <laughs> so um so we're, we're waiting on that part and then, then we'll be able to, to take our solar wires um, up through the bus and, and up through the roof. And um, Anyway, that's what we're waiting on, but we're mostly done wiring the main components. So this is what it looks like.